What's going on guys? It's your boy King Judah back with another video. And the first thing I want to do is to thank all of my supporters, old and new, for sticking with me during my five month hiatus. Thanks once again and welcome back. Today, I want to talk about some unfolding events that has certain boxing fans triggered. That's when unified welterweight champion superstar boxer Errol Spence Jr. reached out to star lightweight boxer Shakur Stevenson for a potential showdown between Shakur and his fighter Frank the Ghost Martin. Stay tuned to find out why so many fans find this infuriating. So put your mouthpieces in, keep your guard up at all times, and step inside the square circle with King Judah. Let's go! Before we jump into it, I want to ask that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, as it truly will help the channel grow. Hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos as I post videos daily. Errol Spence recently took to social media to reach out to Shakur Stevenson about a potential showdown with his fighter Frank Martin. Spence made it clear that in his eyes, the only fight to make for Frank Martin is Shakur Stevenson. Shakur responded by saying that he is open to making the fight and ready for all challenges. Both fighters are tremendous talents and together would make a dream fight for boxing purists. Frank Martin is an up and coming talented fighter in the Errol Spence camp. Martin is coming off the best win of his young career when he defeated, then undefeated, highly touted prospect Michael Rivera in an impressive unanimous decision. He is indeed ready to face the elites of the lightweight division. Shakur Stevenson is a former champion at the 130 pound division and an extremely talented pure boxer. He recently made the move from 130 to 135 to become an instant contender in the most talented division of all of boxing. And now, for the question that you all want answered, why are certain fans upset about this potential dream fight? Simple, it's because of Devin the Dream Haney. Against all odds, Devin has become the youngest undisputed champion in history, and one step closer to the fight he has been asking for for over two years. A showdown with the hard-hitting, undefeated, cash cow, superstar, lightweight boxer, Javante Tank Davis. Tank Davis is a legitimate superstar, and has built a cult-like following that for two years supported the notion that Haney did not deserve a fight or a huge payday with Tank Davis. At the time this notion was created, Devin had no belts, but has since then won every belt in the division and successfully defended them. You would think that by Devin going to get all of the accolades that Tank and his cult said he needed, that they would welcome the idea of a Tank and Devin fight, right? Wrong. The Tank stands, or as my boy Gertz calls them, stanks then turned around and said that Devin had to fight Shakur Stevenson, who has yet to fight a single fight at 135, offers Haney no belts and no payday. They proceeded to say that if Devin didn't abandon his two year long mission of fighting Tank to focus on Shakur, that Devin was ducking Shakur, even though Shakur said he wanted to fight both Devin and Tank, not just Devin. Everybody at 135 from Tank to Devin to, I'm what's in a like, Two fights from now, I'm probably gonna be at 135. Oh, so you going up hunting? I'm going there and I'm taking names and kicking ass. Now there are the real Tank fans who believe he beats everybody and wants to see him fight everybody. But then there are the Stanks who only want to see him in easy fights. Do you think Shakur versus Martin is a good fight? Does Devin Haney deserve a fight with the cash cow Tank Davis? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give the video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And remember, 
Put your mouthpieces in, keep your guard up at all times, and step inside the square circle with King Judah. Until next time, we out.